We have customers that come into us and say it's costing $1,000 to acquire a customer. And for a lot of people, it's a very profitable customer acquisition cost. Say you have a product that's a $20,000 product and you make $10,000 every time you sell it. If it costs you $1,000 to acquire a customer, that's a great price. Now, if you're trying to sell a hamburger, $1,000 is a lot of money to pay to, to buy it to acquire a new hamburger customer. But we really work with the customer and saying, okay, we, it might range. People might pay $50 to acquire a customer, $100, but really work with them and saying, okay, how do we get that customer acquisition cost down to $75? How do we get it to $50? In the case of the guy who's spending $1,000, it's how do we get it down to $800, $700, $600? Because really, at the end of the day, it's all about what is it costing you to acquire a customer, and then what is it costing you to keep that customer? Because here's the thing. A lot of people think that just because they send out an email, that they're keeping that customer. And in reality, email retention rates or email, email open rates most times are in the 20 to 30 percent range, which means 70 to 80 percent of that customer base is going untouched or uncovered. So by combining email and direct mail, you get that 100 percent coverage. Because with a postcard, it's 100 percent open rate. People see the postcard. So even though they might not read it and respond to it, they know that you have made a touch. You've, you've touched them. You've made an attempt to communicate with them. So they, they keep your name, your brand front and center. With an email, if they don't open it, it means exactly that. They never opened it, they never saw it. So by combining email and direct mail, it's a really powerful way to, to retain your customers and keep your brand, your message in front of them.